Cameron discusses peaceful deal regarding Ukraine with Trump, Sunak forced to justify. In April, UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron met with former US President Donald Trump to try to convince him to approve an increase in military aid to Ukraine. They also discussed a peace agreement on Ukraine, according to Politico and The Sunday Times. According to a source, Cameron asked Trump, what are the best conditions in which you, as a president, can make a deal in January? It's both sides holding their lines and paying a price for that. The UK government has long insisted that a peace deal is Ukraine's business and former Prime Minister Cameron himself has publicly stated that peace comes through strength, not through appeasement and weakness. UK Prime Minister spokesperson says that the UK's position on Russia's war against Ukraine has not changed. I don't recognize those reports. Our position has not changed. Putin must fail. It is crucial, now more than ever in this conflict, that Putin is sent a very clear message that we will support Ukraine for as long as is necessary, he says. Sunak was also informed about the report. I haven't seen this Sunday Times article, so forgive me for that. But what I can tell you is that we have led when it comes to Ukraine, he said. The Prime Minister also adds that investments in Ukraine's security are investments in our security. Our NATO allies are already worried about the prospect of if Putin succeeds, that they'll be next, with all the consequences that would bring. The UK Prime Minister adds, Earlier it became known that the UK is considering providing Kyiv with prototypes of laser weapons to shoot down drones and missiles. On April the 10th, Ukraine and the UK signed a framework agreement on cooperation in defence equipment. In addition, the UK announced that it would provide Ukraine with new military aid of £60 million. This amount includes drones and air defence equipment. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken made unannounced visit to Ukraine on Tuesday amid Ukrainian counteroffensive against increasingly intense Russian attacks. Blinken arrived by train from Poland in a surprise visit and met Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky shortly after arriving. During the meeting, Zelensky asked for more air defense systems for his country. Blinken responded that, some of it has already arrived and more of it will be arriving. And that's going to make a real difference against the ongoing Russian aggression on the battlefield. We discussed in detail the situation on the battlefield, support for our soldiers and further defense cooperation, Zelensky said while summing up the results of the meeting with Blinken on his Telegram channel. In particular, we talked about the Patriot systems for Ukraine, to protect our cities and communities, such as Kharkov and Kharkiv region. Two Patriots for the Kharkov region could significantly help in protecting lives from Russian terror, he went on saying. Zelensky thanked the American people, the U.S. Congress, the House of Representatives, President Biden and his team for supporting Ukraine's fight for freedom and independence. We appreciate the decision to continue U.S. support for Ukraine and today we talked about how to quickly implement the announced assistance packages to get weapons in the hands of our soldiers as quickly as possible, Zelensky said. The Ukrainian leader further said that he and Blinken discussed preparations for the Global Peace Summit, stressing America's role in maintaining a rules-based world order does not weaken. It was Antony Blinken's first visit to Ukraine since Joe Biden signed a $60 billion aid package for Ukraine after months of blocking by some Republican Party members. Багато, 
Допомога вже схвалена, вона вже їде, вона скоро вже прибуде до України. І вона допоможе вам по-справжньому боротися проти агресії Росії на полі бою. І ми, так само, як і багато партнерів України, впевнені, що ви досягнете перемоги саме на полі бою. І також дуже важливо, що з часом Україна...